Houston. Whitney Houston sang one of his songs, and he worked on music with her mother, Sissy, as well. Grammy Award winning producer, Mr. Bobby Martin, joins us now with more on his experiences. Mr. Sir, pleasure to meet you. Did you nice see how you everybody, too. when we played that song, uh, just started was dancing moving. and sing? But That's what it's all about. Could I make one correction? Please. It was Philadelphia International, not Motown, the sound of, okay. oh, the okay. sound of Philadelphia. Okay, good, good. Thank <laughs> you for that. Uh, okay, let's talk about, boy, uh, what a weekend it's been, not just for the music industry, but music fans and everybody around the world. Uh, mm -hmm. i got to ask you, your reaction when you, heard, when you heard the sad news of Whitney's passing. Oh, man, it, was, it really shocked me, and uh, it, it really, uh, I was really hurt because yeah. I really loved her music. And, I, I mean, you got to move when you hear her sing. She was a powerful singer. She was just like a, 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 a good uh, public speaker. Yeah. She had pitch, pace, and power. Oh, man, she could sing. She had it all. I know over the weekend yeah. they, they, there was a, something going on on the internet. It was just the, the, the track of her singing without the music. Yeah. It was just pure. And just to hear her voice, uh -huh. boy, I mean, when you take away everything else and all the producing and all the computers and all everything, just her pure voice was something special, wasn't it? It, it was. And, and uh, she was the kind of person that enjoyed what she was mm -hmm. doing. I mean, she, I mean if, if you're just singing and you don't enjoy it, you know, nothing can uh, move, the, move your audience. As we mentioned, I mean, yeah. you've been in the music industry for, for a very long time, and, and how do you put this into perspective, the loss of such a, of such a massive talent to the music industry and to, and to the world as a whole? Well, I'll say one thing. It, it will never be another mm. uh, Whitney Houston. I don't think mm -hmm. nobody is going to ever compare uh, to her. I know you know you know the family. You work with her, uh, Whitney's mom, Sissy. Uh, is there anything you could tell us? Take us inside the family. What what was their relationship like? What did you know about Sissy? Well, at that time, what, uh, this was in 1970 when I met mm -hmm. uh, her mother. We we did an album on her in uh, Philadelphia, mm -hmm. and uh, the the group that she was singing with is uh, was called the Sweet Inspirations. Mm -hmm. And that was a, uh, well, it was, they had that gospel feel, but yeah. they were singing rhythm and blues. But this is a, we can see where Whitney got her talent yeah. from, her mother, cause, because Sissy could burn. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, she could, they said, in the music business, they said, she can cook. She you know can cook, I, mean? yeah. I tell you, man. And, uh, and we know that she started singing in, in, in choir at the church uh, in New Jersey. Yeah. It was, uh, you also work closely with her mentor, uh, Clive Davis. You know Clive Davis, and I know that everybody was talking about how she was getting ready to go to Clive's big, uh, the mm. annual pre-Grammy party that he always has. Mm. Uh, what do you think Clive is going through right now? This was mm. like a daughter to him. Yeah, well, well Clive was like a mentor f uh, for her, mm -hmm. and Clive uh, loved uh, Whitney, and he was a big aid to her, and uh, as well as uh, other people too. But mm -hmm. he, he's a very talented person. And he, he and uh, he he picked one of my songs, and that uh, she sang. I wanted to talk about that because you you wrote a song and that Whitney sang it. Tell us what the song was and what album was it on. It it was called uh, Just the Lonely Talking Again. Nice. Yeah. How does it feel to have one of your songs being sung by? It was an board? honor. Yeah. It was an yeah. honor. I really appreciate it. It was a privilege. And I'm I'm happy that they uh, chose. Uh, w one of my songs to go on. It was on the Whitney album. The Whitney album, right, right. Yeah. Um, w what a unique perspective that you have. Um, if you could sum up, I mean, this is an impossible thing I'm asking you. If you mm -hmm. can sum up her talents in, in just a few words, how would you, how would you say it? Well, well, well uh, in the music business, well, back in the 70s, we, we would say, she's a monster. Yeah. <laughs> she's yeah. a monster, you know. That means she's the top. You know that she was she not only a, a singer but an entertainer and, and you know and she was a, also an actress. Yes. So talented and uh, obviously a talent that the the world is going to miss. But thankfully we have the music mm -hmm. and uh, and we have the film. <coughs> so uh, she's kind of always going to be with us. Bobby Martin. Yes. Thank you, sir. Appreciate thank, you coming th by. Sharing thank you. A, a little bit okay. of memories with us. I. It's one thing I'm sorry for. Yeah. They said don't wear a tie because. That they said because they give away ties what? at the end of the, at the set, but it's okay. You don't have to give me one, but that's why I don't have a tie right on right now, Bobby Martin. Uh, anything uh, from.